Adapting a classic dystopian novel from the Rebellion Library onto film, here's everything you need to know about Schools Out Forever. All right, class, settle down, settle down. You there, sit up straight, boy, you're not on a long-haul flight. Right, that's enough of that. That's giving me actual school flashbacks, and school can be a tough environment at the best of times, can't it? But as the pupils of St Mark's School for Boys discover, it gets a fair bit tougher when pandemics and violent parish councils get involved. Really puts my own frustration that my class usually finished second last at sports days into perspective. Alda! Such is the grim and revealing dystopian vision of Schools Out Forever, the first full feature to come from our own Rebellion film studios. Yes, it's a post-apocalyptic movie without a zombie in sight, and yes, it feels oddly prescient for a film written and filmed before both the coronavirus pandemic and that parish council meeting. But in truth, director Oliver Milburn's adaptation of the Afterblight Chronicles series by Scott K. Andrews is about an uglier side to human nature, a universal theme that the mediums explored in many settings and scenarios. The kind of apocalypse now in scratchy school blazers, if you will. So, class is now in session. Here's what you need to know about Schools Out Forever. Where are they? Firstly, let's talk about what Schools Out Forever is about. And make sure you all take notes here, because there will be a test on this next week. Schools Out Forever is a post-apocalyptic action comedy featuring a cast of rising stars and well-known British talent that follows private schoolboy Lee Keegan as he quickly becomes former private schoolboy Lee Keegan when a prank leads to him getting expelled. As a pandemic spreads across the globe, Lee is forced to return to St Mark's School, reuniting with best friend and head boy Mac and former teacher Mr Bates, played by Alex McQueen, amongst others. When members of a parish council led by Georgina, played by the ever-iconic Samantha Bond, arrive at the school guns blazing in the search for her daughter, it's up to Lee and his former classmates to show the local parish council members that they have no authority here. To say any more would be to spoil the many thrills the film has in store, but let's just say things get messy. What are we gonna do? Trust in St Mark's. Coming from an independent UK studio, it's not a big surprise to see a cast of celebrated British actors and up-and-comers here. Oscar Kennedy takes the lead role as, and you have to say, particularly unlucky student Lee Keegan, and he's got proven chops in the field of finding dark comedy and pathos from school days, having shone as the young Liam in Ladhood. You might also recognise those boyish good looks from the 2011 production of Great Expectations, in which he played young Pip. Joining him in the cast is Samantha Bond, the money penny to Pierce Brosnan's 007 in those classic 90s and noughties Bond movies, and if you ever wondered what such a suave and sophisticated woman might sound like as she threatened to wear your skin like a onesie, now's your chance. I swear I'll wear your skin as a onesie. Also starring are Anthony Head as a particularly, uh, strict head teacher. The Buffy fan energy is strong here and he'll always be Giles in a way despite also being brilliant in the Inbetweeners movie and many stage productions. And while we're on the topic of the Inbetweeners, fans of old oh, friends and bus wankers will recognise Mr Bates, aka Alex McQueen, from his role as Neil's dad in the cult comedy series. Elsewhere, House Stark devotees will recognise Pew, played by Sebastian Croft, aka young Ned Stark, amongst his stable of acting talent throughout the credits list, all of whom will be getting A pluses on their end of term reports. OK, congratulations on passing the 101 course class, but there's more to learn. Schools Out Forever actually began life as a trilogy of novels written between 2007 and 2012 by Scott K. Andrews, put out by Rebellion Publishing. Compared to Lord of the Flies and The Hunger Games by critics, it shares the same major characters and narrative beats as its movie adaptation, while other elements like roaming cannibalistic gangs and an appearance from the last bastion of the US Army feature only in the books. To mark the movie's release, a new edition of the Schools Out Forever trilogy ebook is available in film jacketed regalia. Check below in the description for more details on that. The process of adapting the books to screenplay and filming that screenplay all took place prior to 2020, and if we're addressing the elephant in the room, global events since then have lent newfound resonance and layers to the story just like that aforementioned parish council meeting from hell that took the internet by storm just days before the film's release. Schools Out Forever is a refreshing twist on the post-apocalyptic genre, a sort of Mad Max for the home counties, if you will. 
And for the cinephiles amongst you, you might have noticed some parallels between Schools Out Forever and the 1968 Malcolm McDowell movie, If. Perhaps it's the schoolboys with submachine guns. And if you've seen Shaun of the Dead so many times that your solution to every problem is to head down to the Winchester and wait for it all to blow over, then Schools Out Forever's horror comedy chops are certain to appeal to you. In fact, fans of the Cornetto trilogy will feel right at home at St. Mark's. And head of the parish council Samantha Bond would probably have fit right in with the Sanford neighbourhood watch in Hot Fuzz too, come to think of it. And we'd be remiss if we didn't also mention the upcoming developments for Rebellion's film studio, as well as announcing the Mega City One TV series and a Rogue Trooper feature film with Warcraft director Duncan Jones, we're also developing our huge new studio facility in Didcot to work on a range of new projects based on Rebellion IP. Schools Out Forever is just the start of our plans, so keep an eye out here on the channel for more announcements from the world of cinema. Okay, so obviously we here at Rebellion love Schools Out Forever, but we're not exactly unbiased about it, are we? So what do the critics think? Here's a sneak peek of some early reviews. It's safe to say writer-director Oliver Milburn has been a big fan of the source material for quite some time. His extensive experience as a writer, director and VFX supervisor has contributed massively in bringing Schools Out Forever to life, and although Milburn's talents reach deep into the industry, this has been a passion project that's never drifted far from his mind. After reading the books at university, he spent the best part of a decade developing the script. The fruit of his toil is now, of course, being released as the first film out of the gate from Rebellion. As he's mentioned in interviews, the irony of releasing a film that revolves around a pandemic during an actual pandemic isn't lost on him. But Milburn believes the story's dark sense of humour and Wild West approach to the apocalypse will be more enjoyable than grim. We've saved the best for last, as you won't have to wait long at all to watch Schools Out Forever yourself, because it's out now. It's available on iTunes and Apple TV, and you're also able to rent or own a copy on Amazon Prime, Sky Store, Virgin Media Store, Google Play, and YouTube, before getting your hands on a DVD or Blu-ray copy on April 12th. Well, good work today, Klaus. I want 500 words on what you're most excited to see in Schools Out Forever on my desk by Monday. Or do you know what? Just pop it in the comments and I'll have a look there. As always, make sure to subscribe to Rebellion and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from us. Now pack up your belongings because Schools Out Forever.